Hello, I'm Regina McCann-Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and welcome to our Women in Wealth series. Today, we are visited again by one of our friends. Uh, she has so much to talk about, but Martha, can you remind our guests who you are and what you do? Sure. Thanks so much for having me again. Always appreciate it. Always nice to have a good conversation with a good friend. I am Martha Sharkey, founder and CEO of Today is a Good Day. We are a locally based nonprofit organization providing personal and financial support for families who experience the neonatal intensive care unit with their premature sick babies. It's uh, an amazing thing and that you do and the services that you offer. I can't even imagine being in that situation. I know my sister-in-law was. Uh, and it's a very uh, terrifying time for many parents and families, I'm sure. It is very lonely. It's isolating. It's filled with joys and sorrows and a roller coaster ride for sure. But that's what we saw missing during our extended stay in the NICU. We had welcomed twins at 23 weeks and five days back in 2010. Our daughters were due March 8th of 11 and arrived November 14th of 2010. Our daughter, Mary, was only with us 14 days before she passed away. And our daughter, Claire, who was 15 ounces at her lowest weight, spent 103 days in the NICU at Abington Hospital before coming home with us. Hard to believe she'll be 13 in November. But it was during that time, we just saw this gap in care for parents. We felt very alone. We were looking for that personal connection. We wanted something tangible. We had gotten a lot of information that I'm pretty sure went into a box that wasn't read anytime. And we wanted something tangible, hearing other stories, talking to others. And so that's where the idea of today's a good day came from. And we are getting ready to celebrate 10 years next year. Oh my gosh, congratulations. And a lot of good has been done during that time. It's been a wild ride. It's been very, very exciting, starting with one hospital, Abington Hospital, so many years ago, where we delivered all of our children and now impacting, currently impacting families at 20 hospitals and organizational partners, soon to be 27. So we are just starting to work with two new health systems this fall, and we're really excited. Impressive, impressive. So I know this is not free for you to provide all these services and you guys do a ton of work for fundraising to pay for all the things that you provide for all these families and parents and hospitals. So tell us about some of the events that you have coming up. I I mean, I, I know some of them, I'm very excited about them, but yeah, share, share all that good stuff coming up. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I would say a lot of our events are fundraisers, but many of our events are also opportunities for families to connect with one another. So this fall, we have two events upcoming. We host a golf outing in memory of Dr. Ralph Schreger, who was a beloved neonatologist at Abington Hospital. He was actually with us the day Claire and Mary were born, and he was with us the day that Mary passed away. He is very special to our family. He passed away unexpectedly young at a young age, a uh, young age of 58. Uh, several years ago, his family started a golf outing in his memory and in his honor. We started working with them several years ago, and now we work together to help make that golf outing happen at Commonwealth National Golf Club in Horsham. It takes place this year, October 16th. We have a great day planned, always a fun time. And then our event in November is one of our favorites, the Today is a Good Day Family Brunch. Last year, we welcomed about 400 families to join us, 400 attendees to join us at Normandy Farm for a morning of gratitude, fun, kids activities, a science show. We give out awards at this event, but that is a great opportunity to connect with other families who have also experienced the NICU. I'll tell you my favorite part of the family brunch, we host a miracle march for all of the NICU miracles to walk through the crowd holding a sign of the week that they were born. We start with all of the full-term NICU miracles who start the parade. And we end typically with Claire and some of her other 23-week friends at the end of the parade. 
but it's just a really special time to see how far these kids have come and to honor all of the NICU miracles there. But that's a wonderful event that we host um, in the fall. Wow. I have goosebumps, like literal goosebumps up and down. It's just in inspiring. It's so inspiring. Well, I'll tell you the other opportunity we'd love for your listeners to join us. We just moved offices in June of this year. We moved to a larger space. We're located at 1511 Bethlehem Pike in Flower Town. And we are doing a special open house ribbon cutting on Thursday, October 5th from four to seven. And we would love for your listeners to stop by and say hi, come see the new Today is a Good Day office. We're, we have so many different volunteer opportunities available too. So any of your listeners who maybe had an experience through the NICU or have family and friends who have experienced the NICU or honestly just want to get their kids involved in something to give back or do some volunteer work themselves, get in touch with us. We'd love to talk to you. We have so many different opportunities that are available in our office, but also through our corporate team building programs that we offer. We host many corporate team buildings throughout the year. We bring everything to our corporate partners to host those. So lots of different opportunities available. And that's a great idea for businesses, especially at the end of the year and the beginning of the new year for team building and business planning and, and getting everyone together in, in a cohesive group. Yes, those holiday luncheons, getting ready to just celebrate the team toward the end of the year around the holidays. We host different programs. One is a sign making activity. So we make handmade signs for families who are going through the NICU experience. So they don't just get the computer printed signs from the NICU team, but they get a handmade sign that has inspirational quotes, just encouragement on it. Be brave. You got this. Congratulations. One day at a time. And there's a spot for the nurses to write a baby's name in the center of those signs. So we host a program to do that. We host a program to weave. Get your arts and crafts hat on, Regina. We host no, I can't program. do it. I can't do it. My, my daughter will do that. <laughs> yes. You know, people are always shocked, though. I have to tell you, this has been one of the most fun programs. You just would be so surprised who has the best time making these. In each of our care packages, we give bonding squares. So what are bonding squares? I'm sure you're, you want to ask. We give two bonding squares in each care package. One goes on the parent's skin. One goes into the isolate. At night, they switch them. So when the parents have to leave the NICU, they switch them. So the parents have the baby scent and the babies have the parents scent. But they're all knit, crocheted, sewn, woven for us to give to families, all of our bonding squares. So we host team building events where we will weave a bonding square on our small looms that we provide. We give guidance on how to do it and we walk everyone through it. But then that's another great volunteer opportunity. If you knit or crochet, we have bonding squares arriving every day. My parents wash and pin all of our bonding squares that go into our care packages. So it is a family affair at today is a good day, but we go through, oh gosh, probably about eight to 9,000 of those a year wow. in our care packages. And then two families for families with multiples. Wow. That's so impressive. So amazing too. That's such a like the the idea of switching out the bonding square when you leave and taking that piece home with you. Oh, great. I know. It's great. It's and we didn't have that. So the the I think the important thing to think of is all of us who have gone through the NICU, we all had different experiences. Our care packages that we give to families, they started with a journal, a, a very small tote bag, and one day at a time bracelets. My girlfriend had given me a one day at a time bracelet three weeks into our NICU stay. And she said, Mart, that's what I just keep hearing you say, taking it one day at a time. And so we give those bracelets, but that's where they started. And nine years later from feedback from other families, from volunteers who said, hey, I received these bonding squares. I'd like my students to make these at Germantown Academy. Our volunteer who's a NICU mom, she said, my First and second graders are making these. I always joke, I'm not sure if that makes employees feel better or worse when I tell them first and second graders make these bonding squares. <laughs> I, I would struggle with it. I just got to tell you. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, but what's, can't do it. But what's so great, it's her story 
her family story is on the card that goes with the set of bonding squares about their 26 weeker, about their 33 weeker and their family's journey through the NICU. The other swaddle set that's included in our care package that includes our uh, team member, actually, Corey, her family story. She had a full term baby in the NICU and what that experience was like. So we really try to build out the care packages so they continue to grow and continue to be meaningful, but they're very carefully curated. Yeah. Yeah. And they know that lets them know that they're not alone. Like right. other people have done this and they've, yes. you know survived and there's somebody they can turn to to talk to if needed. The note that is inside the journal is a note from our family and the first word at the top is congratulations. When you're in the NICU, very few people say congratulations to you. They say, I'm sorry. They don't know what to say. Remember when the girls were born, it was a lot of tears because my husband knew many of the nurses and the medical team members taking care of us just from his local connections here in the Philadelphia region. And it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. And it was his boss at the time who had come into our hospital room with a bottle of champagne. And the first word out of his mouth was congratulations, a birth, no matter the circumstances should be celebrated. So oh. everything in the care packages says congratulations. I got chills again. I got <laughs> chills again. That's, that is special. Very special. Very thoughtful too. Very thoughtful. Yeah. Great, 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 great. All right. So you have a lot of amazing events coming up. There's also a, a lot of volunteer events, not just now, but throughout the year. So if people want to, you know, find out about them, remind us the website or how to contact you guys uh, to sure. find out more information. Yes. The best way to get in touch, you can check out our website at todayisagoodday.org, or you can send an email to info at todayisagoodday.org. Lots of opportunities. We have a whole page of volunteering at home. And the other thing to think about is we send care packages upon request. So if a listener has a family or friend, family member or friend going through the NICU, reach out to us. We have a page where you can request a care package. Happy to send that on their behalf, we include a personal note in each care package that goes out who we are sending it from so that the family who's receiving it knows that, but we, we definitely send them out upon request. That's a good idea. I, know, I didn't even think of that. I'll, I'll definitely mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Wow. So much, so much really amazing opportunities that you're working on. Thank you so much for doing all that hard work. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to share. And our 10th anniversary coming up next year, we are celebrating all year long. We are kicking off with a 10th anniversary Miracle Ball at the Franklin Institute on oh. April 19th of 2024. And then we will be celebrating at every single one of our events next year to celebrate oh. this big milestone. We just can't believe it. So exciting that's to amazing. celebrate 10 years. Oh my goodness. So fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. great and a great thing to celebrate too. I mean, you're yes. doing so much good and then you're celebrating. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And I thank everyone else for listening and definitely go check out uh, todayisagoodday.org because they have a lot of events coming up, a lot of volunteer activities, a, an amazing organization. Uh, and again, I'm Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management. Our website's forgewealth.com. Social media, we're at Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram now, all the, all the fun things, right? Uh, go make it a great day. Uh, and today's uh, action item is definitely go visit uh, Martha's website. Today is a good day.org. Thank you.